Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about HCL SSIS interview questions. In the recent days, one of my friends attended interview with the HCL company. So he was asked by the list of MSBI questions. In this video, let's talk about SSIS interview questions in detail. So in the next videos, I will talk about what are all the SQL questions and what are all the SSRS questions asked by the panel. Please subscribe to my channel for more interview, more company interview questions and more technology videos. And please provide your valuable feedback. Thank you. So now let's go to the list of questions. And these list of questions may vary person to person. If one person attended again, so the questions may vary. Now let me talk about the questions asked by the panel. So if you see here, these are the list of questions asked by the panel. Now let me go to the questions one by one. Can you please explain your, about your project? Yes, this is a very common question nowadays whenever you go for an interview. So in this, for this question, you may need to talk about project. In terms of business first, you need to start with a business. So what exactly it is dealing with it. If it is talking about, if the project is about insurance, you may need to talk about insurance for a minute. If it is talking about um, finance, you may need to talk about finance for a moment. And th then later you may need to include the technology terms in the project. So what are all exactly, what is the business logic you have implemented in this project, you may need to talk about. For at least two minutes, you need to talk about when they ask for the project. Next, how many members are working in the project? Again, it depends on the project to project. So there are some projects, the number of project, number of people might be uh, three or four. So there are complex projects where we used to have around like eight to nine people. So it depends on the peoples. So when you say the number of people here, number of members here, so they might ask you one more question. Is it the project is a big project or a medium project or small project? You may need to answer accordingly. If it is a medium project, you can answer it for uh, three or four people. If it is a big project, you can answer it for um, around uh, seven or eight people. Again, you need you may need to justify why you guys are that many are there. So again, you can say the answer as so because of the timelines, you may need to answer it because of the timelines. We are working around five, six people, even though it's a medium project. Next. So what are all your day to day activities in the project? So ideally, yes, this is a very common question again. So our day to day activities are so understanding the business requirement documents. So based on the requirement documents. So as a senior developers, he may need to go for a technical design of the package. So once the technical design is approved by the client, then you may need to go for a development. So once the development is done, so we may need to do the unit testing and then we need to release it for the so system testing uh, uh, people. So these are the list of activities we may need to do on day to day. Let me re repeat again. So we may first activity, we may need to understand the business requirement from the business. So once the requirements are clear, then we may need to go for a technical design of the package. Once the technical design document is approved by the client, then we may need to go for a development of a package. So once it is done, so we may need to go for a unit testing of the package. So once it is done, we may need to release that to the system testing people. So those are all the list of activities as a system, as a SSI developer used to do. Next. So can you name some of the tasks which are used in the project? Yes. So there are very common tasks we might be using. And yes, there are some times we might be using very rarely used tasks also. But ideally, yes. So you will be using data flow task. First one. So which is, will help us to read and uh, extract load and transform the data next execute SQL task and that is also very commonly used task and uh, send mail task that is also very commonly used task and some analysis task if you want to refresh the cube or something like that then you need to go for a analysis task as well so these are all the list of tasks you may need to answer it and once there is one more question why you use this task you should be able to justify that let us say there are some projects so they don't use a send mail task because they will uh, send the mails by using the other activities, other um, uh, ways. So 
so that time you may need to say so here ideally we can use send mail task but s yes, so we are we have a different platform to send out the mails we just simply log the entries in the uh, table or file so once it is logged then other uh, uh, way will pick up the entries and it will send out a mail that's how you need to justify each and every point when you answer it to the uh, panel and you need to show the confidence as well so based on your confidence level so they will feel like he is a good guy in the technology next so have you used logging in your project yes it is one of the important point almost all the projects use logging in the ssis projects so how to use the logging you need to answer it so there are many ways of um, logging the um, tracking the SSIS package the one way is you can track it on the uh, plot files the other way is you can track it on the SQL server other way last way is you can track it on the XML files and you can track it on the Windows event viewer as well but mostly the people tracks the logging or uh, notes the logging in the notepad or SQL server next question have you implemented error handling in the project yes this is also one of the important question yes we have implemented error handling so whenever a task or package fails so we'll send out a mail that's the one way and along with that we'll log that error message in the sql server uh, file tables so once mail receives once uh, we'll send out a mail so the person like a development team um, head or like a the representative person will come and look into that particular issue based on the error there are sometimes you might be getting some network issues there are sometimes you might be getting some permission issues there are sometimes you might be getting some uh, file not availability issues so you need to uh, see based on the error message you need to go for a, uh, a fix next how do you log the errors occurred in the pro uh, package the ssis package so as i told you like uh, so with the help of the event handlers you can log the errors if the people want to log the errors, if the project requirement is to log the errors, you can log the errors in the event handler. So once the errors are logged, then you can send out a mail also along with the logging. So there are two ways here. So once the error comes, like I send out a mail as well as log that error in the specific file or SQL server table. So based on the requirement, you need to do it. If they want to send out only mail, you let's send out the mail. Otherwise, they want us to log only log. You can log that without sending a mail. You can do that even as well. Can you please explain complete flow of a, any one of the package? Yes, you need to take any one of your uh, project package. You need to tell. So at the, from starting point to the ending point. At the starting point, you need to tell the start event. At the starting of the package, you might need to. There are some packages where the audit will start. So at the starting of the package, so they will start the audit saying that this package has been started with a particular so and so time. And next, they will start their uh, project activities. They will initiate the variables. And they'll start the business logic along with the data flow tasks or execute SQL tasks and all. At the end, so they'll uh, update the audit table, audit uh, column saying that end date with this so and so date. So once you uh, see this particular audit uh, table, you will understand at what time package has been started and at what time package has been ended. So by looking at it, you can easily say, so this much of uh, time this package has ran. You can easily say that. So if it is taking more time by looking at the statistics, you can go for a performance tuning of the package. If it is taking very less time, then nothing to worry. So that's how you need to explain by showing a confidence level and you need to include some technical terms as well as some business terms while explaining the complete flow of a package. Next, can you define a full load in the ETL? Yes. So if you, if you watch my videos, there is a detailed video for the full load. So please uh, check in the description. So I will provide you the full details about a full load and incremental load in my description of the video. I'll give you the links so that you can understand more detail. Full load is nothing but so in each and every run, you will be loading the entire table. That is nothing but a full load irrespective of the conditions. That is nothing but a full load. Then what are all that and immediately you'll get a question asking that so what are all the differences between full load and incremental load in this full load is nothing but as i said so irrespective of the uh, uh, business conditions or the data will be loading every time entire table when you go for incremental load so based on some conditions we will be loading the delta only let us say the table has been uh, loaded yesterday today also we have to load so in the incremental load concept 
so we'll compare um, yesterday table and the data so based on the comparison i will identify the delta and i load that delta only to the table so that is nothing but an incremental how much data has been generated newly into the source table that data only i load into the uh, destination table if i go with the incremental load so those are all the differences but yes so incremental load is the best one for the etl loads next what is the staging area in ssis package yes staging area is also one of the important uh, term in the ssis where we will be keeping the raw data to apply the business conditions or transactions on the data so it is also very important next so are the staging tables and the final tables in the same database in your project no so we used to keep staging tables in the separate database staging database and the final tables in the separate database with a final database name if, if if your warehouse is very 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 small then you can go for this option but ideally no don't go with both the tables in a single database next are the staging and the final database on the same server again it depends on the company client but as there are some companies there are some clients maintains them staging databases and final database on the same server but as there are some clients where they'll maintain staging database in one server and final database in the other server it is as you you need to define your uh, terms and conditions here but as it can be in the same server next what are all the ssis transactions so ssis transactions are also one of the important so if you want to perform a couple of operations in the transactions then you need to use the ssis transactions let us say transaction start and at the end commit transaction or rollback transactions like sql transactions so this can be achieved in many ways if you are planning to perform only one task you can go with one way if you're planning to perform in couple of tasks then you need to use a sequence container so then in the next video i will talk about what is ssis transactions in detail please check the description for the video link of the ssis transactions next one so what is the bulk insert task in a ssis so bulk insert task is one of the important tasks in uh, ssis which will help us to load the data in the bulk manner in the bulk manner with the help of the bulk insert task i can load the data from plat file to sql server only it is very efficient task when you have a plat file data with you so even though it is a millions of data in the plat file it is going to load in one shot with the efficient manner when you go with a bulk insert task if you compare the same load with a data flow task or other task it may be little bit slow but if you go with a bulk insert task it's too faster so these are the list of questions asked by the interview panel for the msbi interview so i will talk about sql interview questions and ssrs interview questions in the separate video that's it if you have any questions on the ssis or sql or msbi please list down all the questions in the comment section i will try to answer all your questions thank you that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more technology videos. Thank you.